Hey guys, Dynasty Warrior 6 here again. Now I know it's been quite a while and I am actually in my new house. As you can tell, <laughs> the wall has been mudded and sanded. Um, there's a lot of still, you know, stuff that needs to happen here, but overall, this is my this is my room currently. It's not the master bedroom. That room needs a lot more work still. So I'm not living in the master bedroom just yet. Uh, it'll probably be a couple months before I actually do live in the master bedroom. But um, this is my room. Um, the Wii U stuff is not exactly set up. I think I'm going to set that up today finally because I'm tired of not playing Wii U. I love Wii U so much. I would argue with anybody about the values of Wii U versus PS4 and Xbox One. But anyway, that's personal. So um, I'm doing a Game Finds video. Um, it is, uh, I think, high time I did one. Uh, it's been relatively slow. I'm missing one game from the pickups. Actually, I think I know where one is. Hold on one second, guys. I got some stuff for Christmas down the hallway of darkness. Down the hallway of darkness. Let's see. Hold on one second, guys. I'm sorry about this. Uh, yep, I found it. Okay. Good news, guys. I found the game. Um, I got some stuff for Christmas, which was cool. And I picked up some stuff overall. There's one game I'm still missing, though. But I'll find it eventually, and it'll be in another Game Finds video when I do come around to doing it. Um... Let me see, I can try to give you a tour real quick, actually, of the house. Um, now, the house is still not put together, guys, so do forgive me about that. Um, we are, this is, the, that's the mat, that is the guest bathroom right there. Um, not much going on in there right now, you know. And then, hold on, guys, I know it's really dark in here. I am walking with you, do not fear, I am with you. Do not be scared, uh, do not be scared. Okay, here we go. We're in the kitchen. It is super ugly. And it's going to be fully remodeled one day. And it is hideous. So I know that. You don't have to tell me. But it's cool. I understand. So here's the kitchen. Very ugly. Very um, dated. Um, you know. Uh, there we go. Then we have the... Uh, this is going to be the family room eventually. It's still up in the air right now on a lot of that stuff. But this will be the family room. It's going to have a couch, another chair. It's kind of all over the place right now. And then we have, oh, light. We have the dining room. This is the dining room right here. Um, this is, you know, chandelier. Sorry, it's kind of bright, guys. Dining room. Then we have the little table over there. It is decorative, I think. Front door right there. And then this is the living room. The living room is pretty large. Uh, the sectional couch is right here. I got some touch lamps that do the trick. There we go. It's pretty large. And it, that chair is going to go, guys. Don't worry. That thing is ugly. That thing was actually, actually left here by the former homeowner. So, funny enough. Um, but, you know, you have this little table here. This t entertainment center there. Nothing's in the entertainment center. Not even a TV because I only have one TV. I got to get a small, somewhat smaller television to fit that one. Lamp over there, sectional couch, coffee table. Eventually all this furniture will get replaced and be new. Here is actually my master bedroom. It's hard to see right now with the light. There's actually no light like fixture in the room. I know it's dark, guys, but it's actually fairly large. Um, I'm not going to go into the master bathroom just yet because that thing is still... Ooh. Then here is my master bedroom closet. There we go. It's got a lot of stuff in here still. I haven't hung anything really. I've been going through boxes trying to organize and figure out what I packed, really. Uh, but it's fairly large. Fairly large, you know. Stuff up there. Boxes and games. More games, pictures, artwork, stuff like that. So it's, you know, it is what it is on that one. Let me turn the light off. Trying to save on electricity. I am so environmentally friendly. So there we go, guys. That's kind, of, that's kind of the house right now. I'll give you guys a better tour once things are more set and done, but also when the house is more pretty. Because <laughs> right now it's 1984. Let's <gasps> start again. Hang on, guys. We're almost there. We're going to make it. So don't worry, guys. That's it. So And my room is a disaster. I'm not going to show you that because, you know, who wants to see a disastrous room? Because, you know, every retro gamer has got a nasty room for some strange reason. So anyways, uh, on to... Oh, look at all the soda. Okay, and anyways, on to the games. Okay, so, sorry about that, guys. Uh, let's see, we have, oh, let's just start this off. Um, hmm, okay. First game, got from my brother Matthew for Christmas. Uh, you know, it's a decent game. You know, now I am rebuilding, so this is all rebuilding games. Got Wild Arms 2. 
It is complete. Damn, disc. Piece of junk. So, it is complete. You know. There we go. Wild Arms 2, complete black label. Really good condition. Got a little hole in the barcode area, but meh, you know, you're not going to really cry when it's complete and in really good shape. Next up, that I got for $2 at a game store, I got Tetris. Game Boy, you know, $2. $2 it was $4. Actually, it says 4 but it was actually 2 So, Tetris. Also picked up Super Mario Land on Game Boy for $5. Pretty good deal. Gotta get the stickers off of those guys. It's been real busy, though, so haven't had time just to sit down and remove stickers. Picked up on NES, Tetris once again, for $2. <laughs> Funny enough, the Game Boy version and the NES version were $2 each. And I also picked up Tetris 2 for $2. So I got those games for, like, you know, pretty dirt cheap. Nothing real substantial there, but, you know, necessary games to rebuild the collection. Picked up from Goodwill, Star Wars The Complete Saga for... Three dollars. This is definitely a while back. All these games are definitely a while back. They're not current. Like I caught, I bought them today. These are all way back when I was just kind of shopping around a little bit. Picked up Lego Batman the video game for three dollars from Goodwill. These games are also all complete, you know. And another game I picked up for three dollars was Max Payne Black Label, actually, which is surprising because usually I find this game greatest hit. So it was nice to find it for three dollars. For Black Label, because you know I'm a bit. I like Max Payne. I do. I think um, you know Max Payne is definitely one of those games that really changed gaming, especially that scene where he's in that drug-induced uh, thing and he's walking around that bloody trail and he's hearing the baby scream. <sighs> that was really pretty pretty messed up. Next up that I picked up from Goodwill as well, but way back in the day uh, was Xbox version of Soul Calibur 2 with Spawn. You know nothing like Spawn to let you know you're alive. You know, pretty good game, complete, $3, of course. And the last game that I got, which was for my parents, which was for Christmas, always a great game. Um, I've, I've played it, and I absolutely enjoy it. I find it um, totally amazing. And a lot of people call it Kitty Kitty Meow Meow. It is um, Super Mario World 3D World. Or Super Mario 3D World, sorry, on Wii U. Great game, guys. If you ever get the chance to get this game, this game is amazingly fun. Um... I enjoy it thoroughly. I, there's a lot of people, you know, you know, Wii U is an amazing console. I strongly recommend you guys get a Wii U if you have the chance or the opportunity. Uh, great game, a lot of fun, awesome stuff. But that's it, guys. That is it for Game Finds. I know it's not as much, and I've been meaning to organize my collection and get things starting to put away, but the house, as you can tell, is still somewhat in disarray. There's a lot of, you know, stuff everywhere. So... You know, I'm doing I'm doing what I can, guys. Don't be mad. No, I'm kidding. So, I appreciate you guys tuning in, and I appreciate your guys' patience on videos. You know, I know it's hard, and I know I've been really lacking on commenting back to you guys, so I'm sorry about that as well. But I'm, I'm trying to, you know, I, I can't guarantee that I'm going to be doing more Game Finds videos currently, like every week, like I used to, just because money is really tight. Working on remodeling the house, buying new stuff, painting fixing up things, still have to, you know, do a lot of stuff outside, a lot of stuff inside, so there's a lot of stuff, guys, but as you saw, it's a new house, it's a new adventure, and um, everything's going real good, uh, currently, <laughs> you never know what's going to happen in the future, you know, but I appreciate you guys, and everything like that, and I will hopefully see you guys later, and I'll do my best to comment back to you guys, and, and everything, so see you guys later.